we've got the Olympics coming up this summer. Obviously, your teammate Lawrence Acoli's won a world title. Yeah. Talk to me a bit about how the last crop, crop of Olympians came through and a little bit about this summer, that Olympic background, basically. Talk to me a little bit yeah, about Yeah, I mean, all those guys, they're, they're all uh, at the top of their get, get getting at the, the top or at the top of their games. The, the, our crop or, or wave, um, you know, obviously, there's the, the London wave, you know, all, uh, Joshua and that love, and there's our wave, um, it was even more, and, and and this next wave coming through as well. There, there's like a full team going almost to the Olympics now. Isn't it? And f- well, yeah. I, was, I was going to touch on your good friend Fraser Clark. Obviously oh yeah, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for him. Like he's because he's been on the squad the longest, and he's had Anthony Joshua come, go to London, win a gold medal. He's had me come along, go to Rio, win a silver, maybe gold medal, um, and then now it's his chance. He's qualified, and he. Hopefully he's going to win a gold medal. I don't know. We're we'll hoping, see. We're all hoping so. But yeah, I can't wait. It's finally happening. Like, imagine that. Like you've, he's been waiting so long, and it was like you know, it's a four-year cycle. We did the four-year cycle, and then the virus, and then it messed it up, and now it's uh, you know a year later. But you know, I can't wait, and I'm I'm so happy for him that he's and and the t- the rest of the team as well the GB team to uh, all them guys qualifying because they, you know, sacrifice so much time of their lives and they especially at GB, you're there all year round and you're training uh, three times a day. Uh, you, you like, you, you particularly don't want to, you know, get up and run on the track every, every day, every morning, all year round. You might get like two weeks off holiday, but it's, it's tough. And, um, yeah, so happy, I'm so happy for when, you know, qual- the Olympics is like one of them, like massive events like who can say they've been to olympics and who can say they got a medal at the olympics it's just a, um it, and especially with boxing there there's kind of like a formula where you know they go to the olympics and then they do well as a pro and there's so much experience you get from it fighting all these like guys from all over the world and you might like fight like f- what four or five times in a tournament sometimes so you that's where you definitely get in the experience and, and that experience, um, you know, helped me beat the bar's ass. He didn't, he didn't do that. He, he went pro, but he's doing well now as pro under um, Frank Warren. And he's, um, you know, he's, he's WBA now. So, but um, yeah, that's another story. Um, yeah, and, and uh, Josh Taylor, look, he's just won all them belts. And mate, they're like all the, the crop of the GB um, it, from, you know, my wave of the GB. They're all, all the, all these guys. They're, you know, all the banter that we used to have, and they're, they're all doing so well. I'm so happy for, um, you know, all these guys getting in some big fights, making a name for themselves, winning these world title belts. And yeah, Coley just was he won. Yeah, cruiserweight world title. Yeah, cruiserweight I mean, world title. Unify. So. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, so it could be a problem for you. Watsi's well, back. I thought that was been a close fight. He just hammered him like knocked him out mate there's some some big fight big names cropping up from from the gb who i've you know been um you know come up with so it's great